Hi, and welcome to another edition of Kitchen Chemistry. I'm Julie, an educator with the New Mexico Museum of Space History, and today I have an experiment having to do with eggs. We're going to make some rubber eggs, and all you need is a few items that you have around the house. You're going to need some white vinegar, you're going to need an egg, you're going to need a plastic container with a lid, a plate, and maybe you want a hard-boiled egg to uh, compare it to. So go gather up all of those items and join me right back here. First, we need to look closely at the different parts of the egg. We see the outer shell and it's hard to protect the egg. When we crack the egg, we see a membrane just inside the shell. Then the egg white, also called the albumin, and the egg yolk. When we look at the hard boiled egg, we see the same parts, the shell, the membrane, the egg white, and the egg yolk. The shell and the membrane are the parts of the egg that we will concentrate on for our experiment. First, take your plastic container and carefully place your egg in the bottom. Make sure you don't break the shell. Then fill the container with vinegar until the egg is covered. Now put the lid on the container and set it in a place where you can observe the changes for several days. You might observe the bubbles appear on the shell. We're about to have an acid-base reaction. The shell is made up mostly of calcium carbonate, which is a base. Vinegar is an acid. The shell dissolves into carbon dioxide, water, and calcium acetate. Look at that shellless egg! The membrane has held the egg together and protected it. The membrane is called semi-permeable, which means that the liquid can flow through the pores of the membrane. That's what makes the egg so much bigger than the one with the shell. Also, after several days in the vinegar, the outer membrane is very tough. You can bounce the egg. It has become rubber. Once I cut through the membrane, it's just like a water balloon that has protected the egg white and the egg yolk. I've heard that if you do this experiment with equal parts vinegar and Coke, the membrane will stay clear. Try it and let me know if it works. Leave me a message down in the comments. How did your experiment work? Did you try the Coke and vinegar to see if you could get a clear rubber egg? Well, thank you for joining me today for another edition of Kitchen Chemistry. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we're always adding new projects and new information. And don't forget, it's fun, it's messy, it's science.